Hi, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process in creating your first messenger ad. So today, if you are here looking for a way on how to set up your first messenger campaign, then you are in the right place. Before we start today's video, kindly subscribe to my channel or if I release another video, you may have access to that. Let's get started. So first of all, in order for you to start, you must currently have a personal Facebook account like this. And after you have that, just go on your left hand side here. You could probably see Ad Manager. In today's tutorial, we are not going to use a business manager. I am going to use a personal Ad Manager. So if you don't see your own like this, just scroll down and you might probably see it down here and just click on that. If it is a new one, then it will allow you to accept Facebook policy. Then you could probably go ahead to do that. So when you click on that, that is going to bring you to an interface like this as your personal Facebook manager. Remember, this is not a business manager, but it all works the same as the business manager. There is no difference and there is nothing new. They are all both the same, but just the name changes. So now that we are here in our personal business uh, manager, the next thing that we need to do is to click on create. So when you click on create, it's going to bring a pop-up like this, which we can see the campaign objective you really want to choose. So on the left-hand side, we have brand awareness, we have reach. In case you are, are trying to advertise or sell a new product or you have your own brand of item and you want to reach people to have a knowledge about your new brand of item in a system, then you can go ahead and use brand awareness. And you can also use reach in the same way, which also works together. So when you look at the middle, which is a consideration, we have the traffic in case you want to move people to your website we have engagement in case you want to like share and comment you can go ahead to do that in case you have uh, an app and you really want people to interact with your app then we have app installed in case you want people to watch your videos then you can go and use video view in case you want to get people's email then go ahead and use lead generation in case you want to allow people to interact with your message and know more about your business and know more details about what they really want to buy or engaging with your business then we can go ahead and use messaging then we can also go ahead to convention which talks about if you want people to purchase something from your website then you can go ahead and use convention then if you want to sort things maybe more than one item from your website then you can go ahead and use catalog sales so the last thing is tra a store traffic you want to send traffic to your store then guys you are able and entitled to use any one of them but for the sake of today's tutorial we are going to use messaging campaign but let me remind you we have messaging campaign as a main objective and we also have a convention messaging campaign that means when you click on convention within a convention campaign you are going to see messaging convention campaign but for the sake of today's tutorial we are going to use messaging but it both works the same so the next thing that i would do is to pick messaging then i will click on continue so when i click on continue guys is going to bring us to an interface like this which give us more uh, ways to play around that so now that we are in our campaign the next thing that we need to do guys is to put a campaign name and also i don't know if you really like to choose campaign budget optimization the campaign budget optimization allows facebook to spread your money on the best performing asset that is the reason of the uh, the reason of the campaign budget optimization but in case you don't really want to use the campaign budget optimization and you really want to control your budget hey facebook i don't want you to control my budget i want to control the budget the way i really want it in order for me to monitor the best asset which is working and which is not working so that i can turn it off at any point in time then you must go ahead to accept level so when you go to asset level and you scroll down here you could probably see that you have a daily budget so now you could probably see it has a daily budget this one you can only set a daily budget every day i want to control the money i spend so that one you can just put in any amount over here so guys if you don't want this particular one it has to so now you, it is left to you to choose the one you really want so now let me go back and start creating our campaign so i will just go back to the main campaign 
name then i'm going to put a campaign name so let's assume we are selling something like pet clipper so i'll just go ahead and type in pet clipper so the next thing that i'll be doing is to scroll down let's assume we are going to use campaign budget optimization so you just need to turn on the campaign budget optimization like i said earlier if you really don't want to use that you can go ahead and off it but we are going to use that and we are going to round three outside so probably we just have to turn uh this off then we have to put in five bucks meaning five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars it depends what you really want but i mean the following so i'm going to put in five dollars which is probably 250 that is 750 pesos so then you just go ahead then guys you just click on next so now we are in the asset level so when we are here in the asset level we just have to put an asset name so remember from the campaign level we put a pet clipper so at the asset level what i mostly do is to put the name of the audience i'm targeting in each asset so that i can probably remember the audience and also know which audience is really performing well so i'm going to put in dog so permit me to do that so the next thing that i'm going to do guys we already have messaging ticked over here then you go ahead and choose the paid name you probably probably want to use you can just play around with these then choose the page name you really want to use but for now i'm going to use uh just leave this particular one here and scroll down here to the budget and schedule probably the date and time so now that we are here guys i want my campaign to start from 12 a.m in the next day so i'll go ahead and pick 12 and the 15 then i'm going to change this one to zero zero so it is going to start that on the 15th may so the next thing that we need to do guys is to limit how facebook is going to spend our money on each ad set so we go ahead and click on show more and that is going to allow you to play around with this then we click on set a limit so i'm going to put in 250 which is five dollars in order to control my spending or to tell facebook even though you can play around with my money you can spread your money according to the best one but at least try to spend a minute minimum of this amount on each ad set so now i'm going to scroll down guys and over here we are going to pick the location and also the age the gender and the target and so i'll go ahead and click edit so now i am here in the follow pane so i'm going to load the location as follow pane and the age group also guys it depends on you which age group is really good for you probably the pet clipper can be sold to people from 18 to 65 it depends on you and how you want it so let's assume maybe it is really good something we can sell to people from 25 years to maybe 65 years then we can just set it like this you can also just twist or play around with that and choose the one we really like the gender also you can just go ahead and click on this product is it good for all men or is for only women or men so the next thing that you need to do is to choose the one which is best fit but i'm going to leave it in all but it's only men you go ahead and choose it's for only women you go ahead and choose but it's for all you leave it as it is so the next thing that we are going to do is what is detailed targeting guys so we go ahead and click on edit then the next thing that we have to be doing is to choose the particular audience you want to target but don't forget that from the beginning of the asset name i put dog the reason i put dog is the audience i'm going to target in order for me not to forget so i'm going to put in dog because we are selling a dog clipper and people who like dog probably may need a dog clipper right so now we could probably see we have an audience size of 21 million to 25 million if you think this audience size is too broad for you or is too large for you you can go ahead and click on now the audience so probably i'll go ahead and do that and i'm going to type in engage shoppers so I'm going to choose this. So the reason of choosing engaged shoppers, guys, is tells Facebook, hey, Facebook, a limit to people who normally buy on Facebook. That is what I really like. So now we could see that the audience size has been limited to a fewer number, even though it's still 10 million. But guys, it's, it's still good for that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to scroll down. Then when it comes to the placement. So over here in placement is where Facebook is going to show your ass. Is your ass going to show to people in Instagram or whatever you want? 
so facebook recommend automatic placement that allows them to show your ad to any people or to any uh, uh platform they have but i mostly want to use manual placement because i don't have instagram accounts connected to my personal account so i will just go ahead and just uncheck this but if you have a personal instagram account then you can go ahead and connect that and leave this one unchecked so the next thing that i'll be doing is to scroll down guys then we click on next so now we are here in the art level and this is where we are going to put our creative so now the next thing that we need to do like i said if you have an instagram account you can go ahead and connect that but i have my instagram account unchecked so i'm not going to use that but in case you have it you can go ahead and leave it so we are going to create the campaign entirely from scratch so we are going to leave this one which is create art as the art setup but probably maybe you have your your your, your creative or your campaign set in the um in the page then you can go ahead and choose existing post but we are going to uh, create it from the scratch so we are going to leave it like this so we have a catalog sales maybe you have a website and you want to sell different kind of product to your audience then you can go ahead and choose the catalog carousel sorry carousel so i will just scroll down here and now it comes to media this is where we are going to put our creative so the next thing i will do is to create on media we have an image ad we have a video creative so which of them do you probably have you can just play around with the two depending on the one you have but i have an image ad so i'll just go ahead and choose this particular one which has a print clipper and the print within that that is the creative we are going to use then we click on done so guys we have our creative imported here the next thing that we need to do is to add a, uh, a text to our creative that's what people is going to read and it's going to drive them to create on that so what do you think maybe probably i'm going to write get yours now so i'll just put something simple like this just for you to have a fair knowledge or know what to do so guys go ahead and look for better creative for your your particular item you are selling you are sent uh, sorry uh, you are selling so now that we have our test being put in our creative the next thing is to comes to the headline so guys you can leave it at chat in messenger where you can go ahead and change this particular one so probably what i like to do because i'm selling this particular item so i'll probably write something like uh, order here then i'm going to put a hand emoji to show that chat me in a messenger session so you just go ahead and grab some emoji and just paste it over here to make it more appealing and nice to your audience and try as well also to add some emojis to the primary text to make it more appealing guys so the next thing that we are going to do is to come back here with this one in case you want to divert the chat to sometimes maybe you have a va who, who will like chat for you maybe you can just uh, connect the page or you have a different page you have been using for quite long then you can just divert the messages to that particular page so the next thing that we need to do is the call to action in which we have sent messenger if you click on that it has a series of call to message that is order now and uh, uh, learn more and a lot more you can probably choose from but i'm going to leave it at send a message so the next thing that we'll be doing is to come to this particular the message template then now when you click on edit it is going to bring you a pop-up like this which you have uh, the access to twist the message and how you want to compose it so i'll just go ahead and delete all and leave only one then i'm going to write how much so when people click on my art and where all when they play with my art this is how it is going to show them how much so let's go ahead and test this particular uh, uh when they click on here the how much is going to pop up so let's have a preview of that so let's click on that so it has sent a preview to our messenger so guys when you come here in your personal facebook you could probably see when they click on your app the how much is going to show then you start interacting with them in case you have already connected your page to something like a many chat or many uh sometimes a lot of uh a third party platform which will help you to interact with them then when they click on that like maybe you already set a boot on that then that is going to respond automatically so in my next video i'm going to teach you how to 
connect a third party app like ManyChat to your messaging so that you are not going to do more work, but that is going to help you to respond to that. So now that we have our uh, messaging template edited, the next thing that we need to do is to click on publish. But guys, I'm not going to click on publish because I have not connected my billing so if i do that it is not going to allow to be published let's see or let's try and see to click on publish and let's see what is going to pop up so you could probably see that there's going to bring a pop-up like this for you to add your billing information so go ahead and do that you can click on next and that is going to give you the next step then you put your card name card number you put the date and the cc and after you finish you click on save but if you don't want to do it here you can also do that from the beginning or before you create your video so you can just go ahead over here on the left hand side and click on billing and that is going to bring you to the billing interface so now when you are here in the billing interface guys it's the same thing as we just saw you just go to payment settings so after you go there just wait for a few minutes as it's going to bring the pop-up then you can also add the payment method then it's going to bring the same pop-up then you choose the debit card then you click next or you choose paypal and that is going to bring you to this particular form so after it finishes guys it is going to bring you back to your ad manager and now you could see your ad in preview so when you see your ad in preview this simply tells you that everything is okay and facebook is reviewing your ad and now that everything is okay you are good to go so when you add your card to wait you will never see it in the draft because i've not added a card to wait that is why we still have it in draft but in case you add a card to wait we are not going to see it like that it's going to be in preview so the next thing that you have to do guys remember that we are going to run three ad set so the next thing that we need to do is to check this particular one then we come to asset level then we are going to duplicate this particular asset twice so what we are going to do is to click on duplicate and the next thing that we do is to increase this to two then we click on duplicate so we just waited for a little while as it is duplicating now we are back into the duplicated uh, interface so guys we'll just go here and pick one of the one we just duplicate then we are going to scroll down here and we are going to edit this portion this particular one which is the audience so we choose doc at first so we are not going to choose doc we are going to change the interest we probably we are going to pick pet store so the next thing that we need to do is to delete the first audience we put in there and now that we have to check the audience size we have 2 million to 2.6 million so guys it's up to you if the audience size is good for you you can leave it there if it is not good for you, you can still just play around and delete this particular engage shoppers and that is going to increase your audience size so the next thing that you need to do is to scroll up and change this asset name and put pet store so now that you are finished you have to do the same thing to these guys so you just scroll down over here and just change this particular one you just scroll down and just change the audience which is dog now we are going to pick a new one which is card so we just delete this particular one which is dog so guys you could probably see the audience size is still changing you can still play around as i already said and the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead and click on publish so now if we click on publish everything is going to look good and it's going to look decent like this and everything is going to change from draft draft to preview or review so now the next thing that you see over here is going to be in review if supposedly we already added a credit card or a billing to our ad account so this is the end of today's video guys try to leave a comment in a comment section if there is something you don't really understand or there is something you want me to go over leave a comment and also don't forget to hit on the subscribe button that in case i release any other video you may have access to that see you in my next video